Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this 1200 watt 80 plus platinum rated power supply from Corsair. This is the AX1200i. We'll start off with a closer look at the retail box and in case you're wondering what makes this power supply so excellent at efficiency, the 80 plus platinum uh, rating, platinum there, there's the actual logo for it, is uh, the rating that is actually able to hit in order to get that badge put on there. That's a, an efficiency rating at particular loads. So that means that when this uh, power supply has a 20% load on it, it needs to be at least 90% efficient. At 50% uh, load, it needs to be at least 92% efficient. And at 100% load, it needs to be at least 89% uh, efficient. So uh, this is actually going to be using more of the power that it draws from the wall. So essentially, it's going to save you power on your power bill overall. So a uh, great way to do that. It's also got a bunch of excellent features such as digitally controlled power, a quiet, efficient operation. It's fully modular. It has a, it has a nice flap here that shows you more stuff about the power supply. Uh, so up here at the top, I'm going to go over these when I take them out of the box, but there's a quick look at all the cable connectors that come with it. Fully modular cable design. Uh, and then also down here on the bottom side of the flap, uh, we have some more stuff. So for instance, digitally controlled power for solid voltage regulation and outstanding performance upgraded components and digital design, and that is in order to meet that 80 plus platinum efficiency rating. And then, uh, as previously mentioned, fully modular cables, so great flexibility when you're actually doing your system builds. Around here on the back, we have some more information, so uh, I'll, I'll get, take some quick hits from here. We have an efficiency rating chart right there, depending on your system load and the efficiency. Uh, we have a fan noise uh, rating right here, so you'll notice that at, l at low load, you're actually gonna have zero fan noise because the fan will actually not even spin up at all. And then uh, this also has digital uh, digital power delivery, so it uses a digital signal processor, DSP, for tighter voltage regulation and lower electrical ripple and noise, which improves overall system stability and component st stability. You also get a seven-year warranty from Corsair, so they're definitely standing behind this product. You get Corsair Link technology, so you can use that along with the Corsair Link uh, units. You can connect different Corsair products together and that will give you uh, uh, sort of a much, much fancier uh, monitoring of those types of products uh, when they're all connected via that. So this actually is a little bit of text over it, over about that right here. Built-in Corsair Link functionality allows you to know how well your AX1200i is working at any given moment and lets you quickly tweak its performance. Server-inspired diagnostic tools monitor real-time efficiency, power usage, configurable overcurrent protection points, and fan profiles. Uh, you also have the power chart right there, but it's also going to be on this power supply once I actually get out of the box. I'm going to do that next, and uh, I know there's going to be a bunch of cables in here, so let me sort of get these all sorted out for you, and then we'll take a closer look. So here's a look at everything that comes in the box. Uh, we have the power supply unit itself, which comes in a, a nice sort of uh, velvety packaging. Uh, we'll finish off with a closer look at that as well as all of the individual cables. The cables come in a nice little pouch to keep them contained because you're probably not going to be using every single one when you actually set up your system. Also really like that the pouch itself is labeled because if you're uh, similar to me at all, I have lots of power supplies, lots of them are modular, and getting modular power supply cables mixed up is something you never ever want to do. So this is labeled and actually you also have a label on the uh, plug for each cable itself. You have a nice 14 gauge uh, power supply cable right there, so that will plug in to the uh, AC plug on your wall, of course. And uh, again, bear in mind, if you're using a high wattage power supply, you do need a heavier gauge cable, so make sure that you keep this cable with this power supply. You also get your power supply manual. You get your Corsair warranty guide for your seven year warranty. You have some additional information here to visit at the uh, Corsair.com slash link SW, and that's for the Corsair Link uh, software. You also get the four power supply mounting screws. You get a powered by Corsair case badge. Uh, you get a soft piece of adhesive, and I'm actually not 100%. Oh, I know what this is for. This is actually for the Corsair Link. Uh, and then you get a nice set of, it looks like about 10 or so cable ties to help you with your computer's cable management. And then in this Space Age packaging, we have the actual Corsair Link unit itself right there. So there's your Corsair Link. Simply plug that into uh, your USB connector on your motherboard. And then the uh, other end here has the Corsair Link and that plugs into your power supply. And you can use this adhesive to mount it to your case. So here's all the modular cables laid out for you guys. So let me start off by going over those. Uh, we have our peripheral connector cables right here. 
So you get four total of these, and each one gives you four serial ATA connectors on the end. So that gives you a total of four, eight, 12, 16 serial ATA uh, connections. You also have three of these, and these are actually Molex connectors. There's also four Molex connectors on each one. So uh, again, there's your cable length, and one, two, three, four Molex. So that gives you a total of four, eight, 12. Molex connectors. Along with the Molex connectors, you get a couple of these little adapters, so that's Molex to floppy. So if you do have a device in your computer that requires that uh, old school floppy connector, well, you got two of those available. You also have this little cable, and this is actually the Corsair Link, Corsair Link cable, so that connects over to the little uh, Corsair Link unit that I already showed you. All right, next up we have our main motherboard connectors. Uh, we actually have, well, I should say this is the supplemental motherboard connector, so there's your cable length on that one. Uh, you also have, uh, this one's actually a splitter, so you can go 4 plus 4, uh, and then of course the other 8 pin that goes to your computer. So whether you need a 4 pin or an 8 pin, that will work for either. You actually get uh, two of those, so uh, if you do have a motherboard that has uh, like a 4 pin and a, an 8 pin, or even two 8 pins, you are pretty much good to go. And then you have your primary motherboard power connector, which is the thicker cable. Also, you might note that uh, the motherboard connector cables, as well as the PCI Express connector cables, are nicely braided. Uh, so over here, you have your 20 plus 4 pin uh, main motherboard power connector, and then the other end, which plugs into the power supply. And then you have PCI Express. Since this is a higher wattage power, power supply, it's definitely going to be suited for uh, multi-GPU gaming configuration, for example. Uh, so you have two of these types of cables, and these give you actually uh, two PCI Express connectors on the end although those are right here. All right, so two PCI Express connectors. This is the end that goes to the power supply. And then uh, all these PCI Express power connectors are going to be six plus two. So whether you need a six pin or an eight pin, you've got that. So these are the uh, single plug to two plug versions, and you get two of those. And then you also have just single plug cables. So this has just a single block that plugs into the power supply, and then a single six plus two pin PCI Express power connector. So uh, four of those total. That would give you a total of four plus four, so a total of, uh, yeah, I'm counting right, aren't I? Total of eight uh, PCI Express power connectors, which should get you set up for just about any uh, video card configuration that you might want to set up. And then there's also a quick example of the cable length. Also, you might notice that right here on the uh, connector that plugs into the power supply itself, you have uh, actual text on there indicating that this is only going to be useful in a TXM, HX, or AXI series. Uh, modular power supply. So again, really nice to have just in case you ever happen to get power supply cables confused. Uh, never, ever, ever just take a guess at it because that's something that you don't want to do. You can seriously damage your hardware. Finally, we're going to be taking a closer look at the unit itself. I'm going to start off by peeling off this little plasticky thing right here because it's just, it's just something I like to do. Ah, there we go. Nice and shiny Corsair logo. So that's right there. You'll notice your fan right here, a uh, very large fan, so it's going to move a lot of air. It's going to also be able to spin uh, fairly low RPMs. Again, actually under minimal load, you're actually going to have no fan spin up at all until the power supply actually requires it. So that's a great feature. Over here on the side, you have the AX1200i logo. You actually have that on both sides. So whichever way you might orient your power supply in your case, whether you go fan up or fan down. I tend to prefer fan down if you have a vent down at the bottom, but fan up works just as well. Just make sure you don't drop anything down inside there. Over on this side, you have a nice big fat power on off switch and of course the plug for your AC power cable. And then over on this, actually let me, uh, before I do the modular connectors, let's take a quick look at the power chart. Uh, so there's your power chart right there. It's actually in white, which is kind of different. Uh, but despite this being a 1200 watt power supply, it actually still single 12 volt rail. So the 12 volt rail is right there in the middle. It's actually 100.4 amps on the 12 volt rail, giving you 1204, 1204.8 uh, watts total just on that rail. So uh, Corsair is actually underselling this power supply when it comes to the total available wattage, but I like that because if you are doing a single rail power supply, I do feel like it's, um, it's most upfront to say the wattage on the 12 volt rail. But You'll find different power supplies tend to rate that differently. Okay, finally, a look at your modular connectors here on the back. So you'll notice you have a self-test button right there that you can use. You also have your peripheral and serial ATA connectors. So those are going to be the three pins. Uh, over on this side, you're going to have your uh, six 
plus two PCI Express and four plus four CPU connectors, so you can use those for either one. And then up here at the top, you have two connectors, and that's for your 24-pin uh, ATX for your primary motherboard connector. Also, right here at the top, you also have that COM port, and again, that is to connect to your Corsair link unit. And that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, we've been taking a closer look at the Corsair AX1200i 80-plus Platinum 1200-watt power supply. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, well, you should like it. You should also subscribe to our Newegg TV YouTube channel so you can be appraised whenever we release new videos just like this one. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.